Hey there. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Samsung? This is why I won't be getting another Samsung laptop. Let me show you what I mean. So, this is my Samsung Notebook 7 Spin. As you can see, this laptop is in near perfect physical condition. Very little wear and tear, if any. I even have the protective cover right on the front. No water damage, no drops, no dents. And I needed something that would last over the long term when it was purchased about two and a half years ago on a Black Friday for over $800, which was a really good deal at that time. I live and work overseas, and I do a lot of photo editing, video editing, basic browsing, taking care of emails. I needed something that would last for years and years. Unfortunately, it was a bad investment. Let me tell you why. Over a month ago, I noticed that this laptop had some small glitches, little blips, if you will. Not really on and off flashes, but just something in the background where it would be a little bit brighter, a little bit darker, over a few milliseconds. And this went on for weeks. I contacted Microsoft thinking that this was a software issue. And I did all of the fixes that they recommended. You go through, change the screen adapters, delete recently added programs, restart it several times, and none of that worked. And then a few weeks ago, on my birthday in fact, out of all times, this happened. Check it out. Yeah, not the kind of birthday surprise that you want to encounter. Now I have an $800 laptop without a working screen. And from all brands out there, Samsung being one of the better brands, something that you can count on for most electronics. After just over two and a half years, I don't have a computer I can use because I can't see what I'm working on. Now I have to connect it to an HDMI and then connect that to a TV just to see what I have on my computer. Everything is there, all of my files, all of my music, all of my projects, everything is completely fine if it's connected to another monitor. Now that's a little bit pointless if I have to travel and work on the go, where I can access the internet, where I can access my projects, and I don't have a screen where I can see what I'm working on. It really doesn't make sense. Again, this computer is designed to flip all the way over, 360 degrees. Now, normally, I did not use it that way. I put it on a desk so that I could use it pretty much as you would a desktop computer just doing all of the editing, all of the work that I needed to carry out, and leaving it primarily in one place, wherever I was located. Currently, I'm in the Philippines, and when I took this in to a former Samsung support center, they told me that at the time when they used to support Samsung products, they had a lot of issues with monitors and laptops from Samsung, including this model. They also informed me that a few years ago, when they had these devices and other monitors, they had about 50% of those monitors and laptops returned, 50% of return products for required repair issues. That seems a little bit high and that number could be exaggerated, but it does show that here in the Philippines at least, they had a number of issues with this product and a number of other monitors from Samsung. They definitely said there was a quality issue when it came to their monitors. And that just doesn't seem right to me. I mean, even though that's the Philippines and maybe they have a completely different product or a set of products in the States, it does go to show that there were quality concerns. And now, funny enough, here in the Philippines, from what I was told by the representatives who used to work on these laptops, they no longer sell any Samsung laptops in the entire country. In fact, when I looked online, I discovered that Samsung is rated pretty much at the bottom consistently when it comes to their laptops. For other devices, phones, televisions, appliances, they get mediocre to really good reviews. But for laptops, it seems like Samsung has really just kind of put it as an add-on, something that is on the side, something that really doesn't have a lot of care. And that even goes to their customer care, which if I can say it is non-existent. I've contacted Facebook representatives on their support center. I've contacted them over the phone. And 
they have been most unhelpful. Some of them not really knowing how to support me at all. Some of them trying to connect me with supervisors, waiting for hours, being dropped once I reach a supervisor on multiple occasions, and then hearing over and over, well, sorry, your Samsung laptop is out of the one year warranty, and no matter what, you're responsible. So when I called the Authorized Support Center in the United States, they told me that one-time exceptions could be offered, just as Samsung told me, but that the other party would have to offer that one-time exception to carry out repairs without any expense on my part. I was never offered that. I was told that the screen replacement would be $250, motherboard replacement would be $500, and do I really wanna spend that kind of money when the value of this computer after a few years, even in good condition, is probably double that amount. So I'm paying half just to fix a screen issue, which I'm not responsible for. So you can tell that this has been a huge frustration for me, especially coming from a company that out of all of the other brands out there should have a product that works over the long term. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, when I compare this, funny enough, to my older laptop of over eight years, that screen still works, even though there's been quite a bit of damage. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is it, right here. Oh, God. Uh, it's an old laptop. Active case is very old too. This is my Lenovo IdeaPad P580. I've had this for over eight years. This has been my workhorse for a very long time. You know, I take it out in the field, work on various projects. I was in riots in Istanbul and this was outside, dropped. It's been thrown against seats in an aircraft where the landing was a little bit hard. So it has a ton of damage. As you can. Ooh. As you can see, the screen has basically completely come off on one side and there are dents, scratches, all types of bruises, lots of wear and tear. But funny enough, the screen still works. Well, once I plug it in, hold on. But if I give it some power, it will work. Are you gonna work? See what I'm talking about? The hard drive doesn't work. That crashed, understandably so after all the damage. But yeah, this has been absolutely amazing to see that after all of this damage, the screen still works. Even if the hard drive doesn't work after all these years, even though it needs significant repair all over the place, I mean, the frame has completely come off, the screen display still works. After all this time, my Lenovo laptop still works. I have a Lenovo phone, I have a Lenovo tablet, I have a Lenovo laptop. And consistently I'm finding that their products last. Now I'm not saying Lenovo is the best option out there. I'm simply saying that compared to one of the big competitors out there in the laptop sector, I have found consistently that the products last and they work. And that is exactly what I needed and expected from a laptop that was more expensive. I would continue to use this over the Samsung laptop if I could, but as I mentioned, the hard drive doesn't work. And this one has completely seen the final days. And I had to transfer everything off of it. But it's just really funny to see that this continues to work, at least for the screen, after all that time, after all the damage. And when you compare that to my Samsung laptop, which has no damage whatsoever. The screen can't even make it through three years. That, Samsung, is a little bit nuts. So this just goes to show that after all this time of using a number of products from Compaq to Lenovo to Samsung, I would not recommend getting a Samsung laptop. Maybe you consider Lenovo, perhaps a Dell, maybe an Acer, but clearly I'm not going to go for my Samsung. Thanks a lot, Samsung. I hope this has been helpful for you and it gives you a little bit of insight into my experience with a Samsung laptop. And 
Let me know in the comment section below what you think I should buy when it comes to my next computer. And have you had a similar experience? I certainly hope not, but if you have, tell me about it in the comment section. I'm very curious. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.